Now this morning in Home Design, Hamish is here to talk about lighting your home when you don't have high stud ceilings. Good morning, Hamish. Good morning, guys. How are we? Good, good, we are good. Well. Yeah, so I popped down to Lighting Plus and uh, we're going to have a little chat about close to ceiling light fitting. So that's when you've got a stud height that's probably standard, around a 2.4 sort of stud height. So the ceiling's just that little bit lower and obviously you uh, you really don't want to be hanging things such as long pendants. Right, so that's pieces. what close to ceiling lights means. That's what, yes. CTC, okay. close to oh, ceiling. CTC. <laughs> so, a bit of lingo. The good thing is with you, Hamish, hey, you always come with plenty of options. Even if we don't understand what you're talking about, we do now. So what have you got for Okay, us? first of all, we're going to look at some pictures and um, these are going to be of just some examples. This is what a close um, close to ceiling light is. Okay. Okay, we just got to wait for the little zoomy zoom there. Okay, so that sort of thing. Got That's it. the kind of traditional okay. sort of close to ceiling light that you oh, see right, in houses. Close okay. to the ceiling. C to C. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is close to the ceiling, Mike. Oh, I mean, right. so you, you know, obviously these are the sorts of things for, um, you know, uh, in, in bedrooms and bits and pieces right. where you don't want long pendants no, uh, around just whack into them in living time. areas mm. and bits and pieces. Because, you know, a lot of places have batten holders and then people end up swapping them out for. Uh, you know, either a ceiling button or a close to ceiling light. So we're going to run through some options. And I, and I guess it's important because you don't want to have a low light, otherwise people will keep hitting it. You walk into it. That's no, right. I don't have that problem because I'm a bit yeah, short. Probably not your mic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, there are other things too, of course. So um, if you do have a lower stud height in your house and you start putting hanging lights and, and large things, it's going to make the room feel smaller. So right. you want to have something that's up higher to give you a bit more centre space. Right, so options. Okay, options. Okay, first one we're going to have a look at here is the Candice range. Okay, so these are effectively fabric shades with a diffuser. They've got three lamps inside them. So the idea behind that is that it gives you a nice soft tone of light that sits across the room. So you That's can see nice. once again, they're larger in their scale, but they're closer up to the ceiling. These are all from Lighting Plus, aren't well, they? These are all from Lighting Plus. Yeah, um, they come in two different sizes nice. and uh, you can get four different colorways in them, okay? Very modern. And where would you put that? Well, pretty much they're going to work in any space. Okay. I mean, you, you, you could, <laughs> yeah, on the ceiling, <laughs> right? <laughs> nice, Mel, nice. <laughs> well, it's me who cops the flat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they're going to be great in bedrooms. I mean, you could have one above your dining room area if you want, particularly if you're one of those people who maybe has a smaller dining room area. You tend to move the table away for entertaining and stuff so people then don't walk around and go, oh, light, and duck around. You know, there's plenty of options for it. And what I like too, it's a great way to add colour to your room if perhaps you've got like white walls. That's exactly right. It is a way of bringing colour into the room. Okay, great. Now, the last few lights you've shown us must be installed by a registered electrician, I'm agreeing. <laughs> yes, yes, that is, that is Can't true. Can't put them up yourself. <laughs> no, no, no mic electrical <laughs> coming around and popping up and doing things. But there are DIY options. Okay, okay cool. So we're going to have a quick look at those now. Sweet. What have you got to show us? Okay, right. So they are of a crystal sort of pendant idea but what they basically do is they go up and you fit them out like a shade effectively over the top of like your batten holders and stuff so these you can put up yourself that one there is my favorite of the bunch it is the bloom Wow. and it's nice it gives you a little bit of sophistication a little bit of elegance to the room if you're after that mm. that is really pretty so those ones must be quite good reflecting the light really beautifully yeah they will I mean anything like that that's going to have sort of that crystal style glass and bits and pieces or stuff it's, it's, it's going to project the light out through the room and give you some nice sort of tones in the room too because it's, it's sort of more indirect so where would you use those would you you know bedrooms well yeah I mean you could use them in your bedroom <laughs> if you desire <laughs> I mean I, I, like I, bedroom class, I mean if, if you've got some older homes and bits some pieces and they've got a, you know um, additions out the back which might have a lower stud height you can then right. tie that sort of more classic look through if you want uh, I'm seeing them used in hallways bedrooms uh, you could use them in a lounge you could use maybe four of them or three of them running in a, in a row through the lounge fancy toilet you never know yeah oh, true. And a fancy toilet sophistication you know which yeah, I it's quite a bit like more sophistication okay what else have you got to show us? okay so the next range um, okay these uh, these ones you need an electrician for okay these this is a as, as more of a crystal glass range Many different types. So this one here is the Vanessa. It's gone a little bit. There's the Vanessa again. I like it. It reminds me of an upside down jelly mold. Oh yeah, oh, it does. Yeah, nice. right. Oh. This one here is the Odessa. You know, it's got a little bit more blingy, maybe a little bit more Russian, larger crystals, mm -hmm. a little bit more fancy. Um, these pretty much are my favourite. But there are a lot of different styles they make. So pretty much there's something for everybody out there and for every sort of setting you want. Those are very cool. I would like a chandelier in my house. Yeah, mm. feel classy. I think I've oh. had them before. I um, I had to get them made because you couldn't buy them small. Yeah, this is me because see I waste money on stuff like this. <laughs> uh, and I wanted these sort of low chandeliers. I had a slightly raked ceiling. The room was black with a white ceiling, 
and giant mirror leaning against the end wall. Yes, I had this period where I thought I was something. And yeah, uh, psycho, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit crazy. And I, I got little round sort of chandeliers made because you just couldn't get them. Now you can get whatever you want. Excellent. Nice. Hey, Hamish, thank you. That's been enlightening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you'd like to find out more on any of these lights, pop into your local Lighting Plus store to make the most of their winter savings sale.